This is the lecture 10 in learning about transformers and this is about the star delta connection of transformers. Previously we saw the three phase transformer and the different types of connection possible for the transformer. But the star delta connection is the most commonly used connection for power system. At the transmission side a star connection on the high voltage side and the delta connection on the low low voltage side. The delta star connection is used for step up and star delta connection is used at the step down end of the transmission system. At distribution level a delta star connection of transformer is used. This allows for three phase and one phase loads. The three phase loads can be directly supplied to large industries while the single phase loads can be used for distribution to domestic households where single phase equipments are used. So that's how a three phase a delta star three phase connection and a star delta connection may be economical. And this is a circuit diagram of a star delta connection or a, with the minus 30 phase difference. If you look at the star delta connection, the volt, line to line voltage at the star end will be V, but the voltage between the phase or the windings individual windings will be V by root 3 and there is a reduction in the voltage by a margin of root 3 which will reduce the insulation cost of the windings also the voltage is transformed in direct ratio of the transformation ratio and at the delta side the voltage available will be V by root 3 X again if you look at the phasor diagram of the voltages in the star and the delta side you can see that at the delta side there will be a 30 degree or minus 30 degree phase shift from the neutral and this minus 30 degree phase shift will in in delta star delta connections give the name of this connection as a minus 30 degree connection star delta connection and the next kind of connection is a plus 30 degree star delta connection And this is a circuit diagram of a plus 30 degree star, star delta connection. So the connection at the star end remains almost same. But you can see that the delta and the A1 is connected to the C2 here. And B2 is connected to C1 and the B1 is connected to A2. So this is how the circuit diagram of a star delta plus 30 connection occur. Or is done. And again in the... If you look at the phasor diagram of the plus 30 connection, there will be a phase shift of plus 30 degrees of each phase with the neutral, which can be shown in the phasor diagram in the next page. If you look at the phasor diagram again, you can see the star connection, you can see the each of the phase voltage written as A. C and B and again at the delta, delta side there is a plus 30 degree phase shift from the neutral and this is the reason why this connection is known as a star delta plus 30 connection again plus 90 and minus 90 shift connections are possible so for different requirements different kind of connection may be used and the phase change is taken into account at the secondary side that's all if you like this video please do subscribe like and comment